Wastewater Dan presents Wastewater Math calculated with Excel spreadsheets. As a new service of ESDLT's Environmental Academy, environmentalacademy.com, today's example convert flow from gallons per minute GPM to gallons per day GPD. Today's problem reads, a chemical feed pump is always used at maximum capacity a 0.009028 GPM. When, say, the pump was used 24 hours, calculate slash convert gallons pumped Wednesday. So we have a flow rate conversion problem, and what we need to do is we need to solve for 24-hour uh, flow gallons per day GPD. And the data we have is minutes, gallons per minute. So the problem is going to be to convert from minutes to days. Now, we're going to use um, the uh, uh, simplest elements in the conversions in this formula. And we're going to let Excel do all of the converting for us. So the way we're going to do this is if we're going to put in the, the uh, conversion factor from minutes to hours and a conversion factor from hours to days and um, just use what I call multiple conversions. So the formula is going to be GPD equals GPM times the combination of 60 times 24. So let's see how we put that in an Excel spreadsheet. So you can go to a blank spreadsheet in cell C1. You can type this description, convert flow, GPM to GPD. In cell A1, you can format it as numbers with six decimals and set it as bold and centered. And in the formula bar, you can type in this formula. Equal sign, open parenthesis, 0 0.009028, close parenthesis, times uh, multiplication key. Um, open parenthesis 60, close parenthesis multiplication key, open parenthesis 24, two close parentheses, and then press uh, enter or the return key. And in cell A1, you will see this answer 13.000320. So that's the answer. Um, but I have, um, and, and that's the answer doing this with uh, multiple conversions. So uh, I hope you found this to be useful and helpful. Um, however, I have multiple uh, bonus videos linked in this video. If so you want to listen for a couple more minutes, you can actually see where those are, what they are, and where they are, how to get to them. But the first one is the reverse of this, using uh, multiple um, conversion factors. So the first one here where you see the description convert flow GPD to GPM and you see the uh, link here, uh, URL link. What we're doing is we're using two conversion factors and we're going from days to minutes. The other one we went minutes to days, this one we go day to minutes. Okay, so um, that's the first bonus video. Um, however, Whenever you use multiple conversion factors, you can always uh, combine them uh, and, and get down to a single conversion factor. So if you were, for example, to take the 60 times the 24, you would have 1,440, which is the single conversion factor with the number of minutes in a day. So I have two more videos here, which actually does the same thing, except it's using the single conversion factors. So the first one, we're converting from GPD to GPM with one conversion factor. And this is the URL. So you can go to that video if you want some additional explanation on that. Uh, the reverse of that is another bonus video, which is actually converting from GPM to GPD, one conversion factor. You see, we're using the same basic data uh, we're just changing the math operator. Up here, we were dividing. And down here, we're multiplying. 
Okay, so those are the um, complementary um, calculations using uh, multiple conversion factors or using single conversion factors. Now, I have some other videos I've linked here real quickly for you. Uh, these are basically using um, con conversions from the imperial American system to the metric system uh, based on a starting point of minutes. So the first one is going from minutes to liters, and this has got the uh, URL and the uh, formula here. And then the second one is going the reverse of that, so it's going from liters to min to minutes, um, liters to gallons. I'm sorry. This is the URL and the conversion factor. Okay. So another uh, metric-related conversion is to go from minutes, uh, from gallons milliliters and you see we're using two conversion factors here uh, one from gallons to um, liters which we saw up above up here 3.785 but we're going to milliliters so we've also got to use the conversion factor from liters to milliliters which is a thousand I got both conversion factors in here you could actually use a single conversion factor you can multiply the thousand times the 3.785 and you can have 3,785. This is the uh, formula, this is the uh, URL, and that's um, actually you could round that answer off to 34 in a lot of cases instead of 34.170980. Uh, but I have the reverse of that also. So this is going from milliliters to gallons, same conversion factors, same numbers, URL there, so you can uh, uh, actually see that. So um, one more combination is milliliters to liters, and this is the URL, the conversion is 1,000, and then reverse of that, liters to milliliters, uh, same conversion, just the math operator is different. This one we're multiplying, and this one we're dividing. So there's about 10 videos here with the first one being the answer to the question and the other uh, nine or so uh, being bonus videos. So this is a, a fairly long uh, video. This was seven minutes, almost eight minutes. I hope you found this be useful and help, helpful. If so, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I encourage you to participate or interact by commenting or, or submitting questions. You can go to my website, environmentalacademy.com fill out email form or send an email to the email address. Uh, and finally, um, I'll be publishing educational videos at least once weekly, so come back often. Thanks for listening and see you soon.